Right now, let's go to our Kerry Cod with more on Broward businesses, how they're doing. Kerry is live from Pembroke Pines. Kerry. Well, Peter, Governor Ron DeSantis just wrapped up a wide-ranging news conference here at a sample collection site at C.B. Smith Park in Pembroke Pines that will begin work tomorrow. As for businesses, the governor indicated that he anticipates putting out an executive order tomorrow that will add some additional information regarding beaches and non-essential businesses in Broward County and Palm Beach County. We'll have more on that in just a moment. The focus, though, today is on this uh, sample collection testing site that's set up here at C.B. Smith Park. It's being run by the National Guard and by Memorial Hospital. It will open tomorrow. It will be only for specific groups of people. What will happen is folks will come here, the National Guard, medics with the National Guard will collect samples. Those samples will be sent off to a testing site, and employees from Memorial will follow up with patients on whether they were positive or negative for coronavirus. Memorial is overseeing this effort. The governor said the state hopes that if this goes well, they might be able to replicate this elsewhere across the state. Here's how he described the groups that will be a focus of this testing and sample collection. It's important for folks to know that because the resources are still limited, uh, this initially is going to focus on two main groups of people. Those who are healthcare workers, because if they test positive, then that could potentially sideline a lot of the people that they're working with. And so that's something that we're very, very concerned about. We want to make sure that they can get tested immediately. And then the other group that is going to be the focus uh, will be those senior citizens, 65 and over, um, who have uh, symptomatic, uh, who are symptomatic of uh, having coronavirus. So uh, you need to bring your ID um, and the people who will meet the test, the, the, the conditions are if you're 65 or older, if you're symptomatic, uh, if you've been on a, a cruise or affected area, if you're immunocompromised, um, that's the group that's going to be the focus on to start. The governor also said that he asked the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino to shut down their bars and restaurants. He said they voluntarily agreed to do that. Now, as for that anticipated executive order from the governor's office for tomorrow, there appears to be some ambiguity on exactly what will take place. I'm told by some Broward County leaders that this is still very much a work in progress. The governor said he wants us to look like similar to what's going on in Miami-Dade, but it's essential that uh, the uh, mayor said that they shut down any large businesses with a lot of people they congregate. Live in Pembroke Pines, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. Carrie, thank you.